Well, good Tuesday afternoon to ya. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. Hope everybody's having a show enough good Tuesday. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, about 78, 79 degrees. Looks like it wants to rain, but we can use it. Hey, it's all good. Before we get started on this video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you return and just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, or what I don't have going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of Mercy. We have had a huge problem over here on the homestead slash home place, but we got a lot of stuff done over the weekend. Give me a second, and that's what I'm fitting the shows you. All right, let's talk about the stuff that just show enough ain't working over here at the home of the sticks. And that is the internet. Lord of mercy, I've been having internet problems probably for the last uh, two weeks over here. For some strange reason, I can watch YouTube all day long and stream movies and do whatever, but I cannot upload anything to YouTube. So I apologize to you and y'all for that. My videos have been coming out uh, a day late, sometimes a couple of three days late. And the reason is I could actually, uh, of course, uh, create the videos, do my editing at home, but I actually have to wait till I get to work to actually upload uh, the video to YouTube. So I apologize for that. Hopefully we can get the uh, internet stuff uh, worked out here within the next couple of days. Because I'm here to tell you, it just makes me ill as 5,000 red ants whenever you, you're paying for a premium uh, product and you just ain't getting what you pay for. But it is what it is. And I wanna let y'all know why uh, my videos have been a day late or several days late. That's why, having internet problems. So enough of that. Let me show you what we have done over the weekend. And I'm here to tell you, we got after it. I'm gonna show you the first thing and then we're gonna move on to all the other stuff. Look at there. Hey Cash. We have finally got the pool up and running. It's a 16 by 48 uh, summer waves pool. Of course the youngins and myself have gotten into it. It is running. Can't wait to uh, get in it more. Uh, the water temperature has been around 76 to 78 degrees. Still a little chilly, but the pool's up. For those that may have noticed it, yes, it is uh, low on one side and high on the other because the pad was just a little off. But that's okay, it don't stop me from getting in it and splishy splashing. Let me show you what else I've been, oh Lord, I just, we got after it this weekend. Showing up, look -o right there. We sure enough got in these 16 foot raised beds and went to weeding and I finally, Got this side cleaned up really good. Uh, my no-till side is cleaned up. I still have to pull some weeds and get some stuff going. Actually weeded out between all my garlic that's still growing and getting its garlic on. But we sure enough got in here and cleaned these beds up. This bed's looking good. I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and run some Vortex beans or some Kentucky Wonders uh, in this bed. Maybe even some cucumbers. We may do half and half. I think I'm actually, I think I, I got, I didn't get away from planting uh, Kentucky Wonders because I love Kentucky Wonders. I think I went with the uh, Blue Lake uh, pole beans because they're stringless. We're gonna try those out and see how they work over here on this trellis system. I also did a ton, a ton of grass cutting. Finally got it down. It is just whew, a lot of grass to cut. A couple acres worth of grass. Look at those skies, open rains. But we did a lot of grass cutting. What we also did on Saturday morning, we didn't do any filming. Oh my word, we didn't do any filming because we were really rushed for time, but we actually got out here. You ain't gonna believe this. We actually got out here and planted three more rows of purple hole peas and gracious. We did two rows about a week and a half ago. Look at there. I didn't come down here and see this. Look at all of them purple hole peas. Uh-oh. Something's getting in here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Something really big is getting in here. Look at there. 
Oh, man. But anyways, I'm just tickled pink to see this. Look at all those purple whole peas. Wow. Okay. I didn't walk down here and look at the purple whole peas. It looks like something's eating them. Uh, probably the rabbits. But I'm just happy to say that we got some purple whole peas that come up. So we have a total of five uh, 300 foot rows of purple hole peas. We're supposed to set out some bub beans. Um, Thursday, hopefully, if everything works out, uh, I am purchasing a piece of equipment to help me out with this. We did this all uh, by hand and using a uh, Earthway uh, push behind cedar. I'll show you that too come time. But wow, we got purple hole peas up and we planted out more. Yeah, we've been showing up getting after it. Um, only thing that sucks is I can't share it with you on time because my internet's down. So this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to bring everybody up to speed as to what we got going on over here in East Central Mississippi. Having some show enough internet problems, it's a bummer. Now hopefully we can get that worked out pretty soon. But we are getting uh, a lot of stuff accomplished. And it's just taking time. It's slowly but surely in my book. Oh, let me show you this. Skyla got some roosters to protect the pathway leading to the pool. <laughs> so again, I hope everybody's having a show enough. Good Tuesday. And y'all, I hope everybody is being safe uh, amid this crisis that we have going on. Just please be safe. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, oh mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know what's coming. Dan Reffer is showing up, always going to say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You showing sure enough, get your shine on, it's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.